Well, we don't seem to have too many out on the grid for this one. Race 36. Number 47, Rob Building, will be out on Morris Jones's bike here in this one, which is uh, number 115. So where you see 115 in this race, it will be Rob Building. Robin's there is one of the riders uh, with a wheelie, he comes off, that's not much, he's okay. Brian has got a good start, battling there with Mark Collins, Mark Collins takes the lead, Brian Leach right there with him, he's not letting him get away. So we're short of a few 250 riders on this one. Scott Leather gets away, but up front is Mark Collins. And Rob Wheeling, right there with him as well. Rob Wheeling closing in on the first two. Remember that uh, Rob Wheeling on a power machine here. We have only those two boys. Mark Collins though. Rare as he is in the big glass field these days. Coming under pressure. Brian Leach on the inside of Mark Collins. Yeah, that's a pretty lively effort for Brian Leach to come to the back against Mark Collins. But what for Rob Wheeling? He's been a watching brief there, back in third place, he's got the closer gap, he comes up the inside, doesn't get through. Mark Collins is a new bit tight, because Rob Wooden looks at that inside line again. Ryan Leach leads. Mark Collins chasing the ball. He's got a fat wheel now, he's getting used to that machine. Ryan Leach then out of front. And what a ride this has been Brian in this race. So the checker flag being made ready is we going to Brian. Been racing a long time now, Brian. Mark Collins has been held on there. Take the victory from Rob Ruby. And then I think it was uh, Steve Palmer and then Scott Hunter who was there. Yeah, lap down. That would be coming in for fifth there. The result, the win for 3-2-6, Brian Leach, second 3-0-5, Mark Collins, third is number 47, Rob Worthy, riding number 115, in fourth place was 227, Steve Palmer, fifth place was 477, Scott Bunker, winning time 1 minute 37.24. 1 minute 37.24. The numbers are 326. Phillips under pressure. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sitting very close for third and fourth at the moment. Joseph Nichols has seen the challenges coming. Looked over his shoulder there. Now he acted right there with him. Smilers, Sand and Stone. The previous one was sponsored by Wheelers and the previous race was sponsored by Chris Blake. Here we go with the youth. Good start there from Ashton Red. And uh, Terry Bovier is out on the, uh, it's on the uh, 125 International bike out on, in this race. Uh, Riding number 17, so that's Tiger Govier on, a, on the International Class 125cc machine. And that's a Lou Barrett's machine. Ashton Webb then, out in front, leading in second place. 
number 26, Luke Harris, and then turn it over, number 6, Riley, number 17's machine. Attention, race 45, we need you because you're going to be brought forward a race to go between the sidecar races. So, race 45, the European person will make the way in the pit box, please. Ashton Webb. In second place, number six, Tyler Govier, riding number 17's machine. Third place, number 26, Luke Harris. Fourth, number 33, Jack Nelson. Fifth, number 61, Morgan Watts. In sixth place, 48, Shannon Derrick. Seventh, number two, Saul Bully. Winning time, 1 minute 42.7. 1 minute 42.7. The numbers were 112, 6, 26, 33, 61, 48, and at number 2. Fourth was Steve Palmer, fifth was Harley Fish in the 250 class overall. The 350 class overall, first was Lewis Lear. Lewis Lear, the winner. Second, Darren Drew. Darren Drew, second. Third, Jody Hobson. Third was Jody Hobson. Fourth was Luke Cox. Luke Cox, fourth in the 350s, and fifth was Robert Thomas, Rob Thomas in fifth. Those are the aggregate uh, finishing positions for the 250 and the 350cc classes. Right, next up, race 40, here we go with the solo restricted classes now. Well, Lewis Lear didn't get a very good start, he goes down the outside. Can he get by? No, he's been bold. And the two runners in front get away. And Oscar Flynn Harder comes up the inside. So Lewis Lewis is going to work it over to get around the outside. This way of rest in second place. He comes and gets a nice. Not Pedro. Turns out Lewis Lear. He's going to move. 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 So Pete is getting away. And Lewis Lear has still has to fight back. He gets by in the third place. Now the chase is on, ladies and gentlemen. Because the two teenagers are handling Dean Cutler. And Dean Cutler is the rider on the front. Number 57, Dean Cutler. Darren Drew is second. Lewis Miller is third. And Slip Miller is third. And then the third off this. Stephen Miller is next. Well, from Lewis Miller in 9 and 8, he's got work to win. He comes by one. But Chase is here. Dean Cutler has two titles on his tail. Dean Cutler holds it up, but only just Lewis Miller goes wide. As they start the last lap, from Lewis Miller, he's going to be a big as they go into the final lap, then Dean Cutler leaves. Lewis Lear chasing in second place. He's not going to do it, is he? Or is he? As he closes in, Lewis Lear looks at the inside of the line. As they race the ends of the track, is Lewis Lear going to be a big one? He's going to be very, very close. Dean Cutler's getting him. Dean Cutler's getting him. Lewis Lear, the first rider that comes down this afternoon, the down goes. 
Bowl in third place. Wow, this race making is going to be worth getting that DVD for. What some sensational racing we're having here at Spaxton today. Lewis Lear. Third, number 20, Darren Drew. Fourth, number 200, Scott Creswell. Fifth, 239, Anthony Kernock. Sixth was number 8, Stefan Maunder. Seventh, 568, Pat Davis. And in eighth place, number 105, Dave Meadows. The winning time, 1 minute 30.63. 1 minute 30.63. The number is 57, 21, 20. 239, number 8, 568, and 105. That's how they finished in race number 40. Race 41, it's a solo restricted. Then race 42, we're going to see the appearance of the 1970 British sidecar champion, Jerry Wheeler. Uh, so that's going to be mouth watering, isn't it? The, the novice uh, race, the restricted race, which comes up race 42. To allow some of the machines to get sorted out for their races, uh, we've put the intermediates up to race 43, so with the inters, that's why we put the call out for them. Off the line they go then, that's all race number 41, sponsor this. Come out there. Good. That's fast. That's a good start. Number six. Oh, well, can he hold it this time? He's had a couple of tumbles. He's gone very, very wide indeed. Still just got his nose in front of the top now. Harris coming now, he's trying to get the ball. Ben Masters, number six. Oh, he's just managed to get around that corner. Looks like the story. Ben Harris is there with him. He's standing between the inside of the little box. The Calvin Pan on the inside. Ben Palmer is Ben Masters with Palmer. So what's left Colin Harris up in the lead? And Colin will be under pressure as Calvin Palmer moves through to try and close that gap. Also, uh, we've got uh, Keith Snelling battling there with Luke Cox. Luke Cox goes very, very wide. And these four riders, anybody can get this result, I think. Colin Harris probably doesn't realise what he's got on his uh, back wheel there. Four, three chasing riders. Here comes Calvin Palmer riding alongside Colin. Colin Harris there, uh, holding the line, tight on the inside, coming out of pressure with Calvin Palmer. Calvin Palmer gets the run as they come in the home straight. Cox still there chasing in the fourth place, but uh, Calvin Palmer is, is uh, coming by Colin Harris, he pulls away. He's got Kelly go by number 10, Matt Martha, Andy Hodgkinson. Uh, Andy must wonder what's going on as these four fast boys come by. Check the flags and then Colin Harris takes victory. Sorry, uh, Calvin Palmer takes victory. And uh, Colin Harris have to take that runners up spot in second place. And even a battle going on downfield here. Uh, there's uh, 276, 67, 227, all right through the field. Number 3, 1 minute 33, point 73. The numbers were 226, 19, 212, 44, 276, 67, 227. 102 and number 10. On we go with the sidecar restricted class. Here is the great Jerry Wheeler, number 8. With Wayne, uh, with uh, Roland Broomfield in the chair. We've got Anthony Power and Wayne Rickards should be out there. They had it there at a, a bit of a popping machine earlier on. With a, they were shooting at us. Terry Pern and Alfie Pern, number 14. And are we going to see Darren Wills and Rick McCauley? They're not here. We thought Darren Wills was going to be riding Rick McCauley's machine in this one. But he's not there. So Terry Pern and Alfie Pern change places. And there you go, let's 
see how Jerry Wheeler does then in this one. Well, he's eased off the throttle a bit there. So, not sure what happened there, but they get away. Anthony Perry leads. Perry third in second, Jerry Wheeler third. Jerry Wheeler in his uh, 70 years plus of age. And uh, many people in their 70s will be sat there with their slippers on watching TV. Here's Jerry Wheeler racing a sidecar machine. Whoa, whoa, look at Mr. Pissinger! Anthony Pallas Pissinger has gone out onto the racetrack and the race has been stopped in the interest of safety. So problems there as Wayne Rickards tumbles out of the chair. Hopefully there's nothing too serious. Send Jerry round for a lap of honour. I think they will come round. I think they all deserve it. Round of applause, don't they? The winner then, number eight, Jerry Wheeler and Roland Broomfield. Second, 32, Anthony Power and Wayne Rickards. And third, number 14, Terry and Alfie Pern. Let's have a cheers for them, ladies and gentlemen. Well done, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, former British champion, Roy Boga, coming from the back to win the restricted race in the Xbox next year. Well done, Jerry. Well done, Roland. The winning time was 1 minute 24.09. 1 minute 24.09. So first number eight, second thirty-two, third fourteen. Right, because they need uh, the Perrin's bike ready for race 43, we're going to have race 45, first of all. That's the Youth Inters. Their third leg, sponsored by Pat Watts. Yeah, okay. As long as you ride it on there, I'll know. I'll just put the yeah. arrow up. Bring it up. Yeah. 
Race 46 gets off the line. 
And uh, it is uh, Darren Pearl of Tony Hansel getting an absolute flyer. And uh, Run will be very pleased with that start, I'm sure, from Jody. Steve Lee comes under the inside, goes up into third, looking at second place. Down P. Leeds. Jeffrey Emmons and Steve Lee and Tony Hudson on the 350cc machine. Then Tony George, Pat Davis and Ansei Karen Davison. And veteran Barry Woodruff at the back. That's the order. But Darren Pugh going like a rocket train up front. 7-1-1 it is. Steve Lee in second place. Jeffrey Evans third. Jeremy Hudson fourth. Tony George in fifth. Barry Woodruff has made his man. He's come back here and Davis and he's closing in on Pat Davis. He comes from the inside of Pat Davis. No, Pat holds him off. Look at this battle going on. It's Karen Davis and goes around the outside. Three of us at the back. So the racing is going on at the back here. It's Darren Pugh races away with the meeting. But that battle for last place is really hotting up. Darren Pugh is flying up front. But Barry Woodruff has come far ahead of Pat Davis with Karen Davis and also in there as well. Up front, here comes the leader. It's Darren Pugh, 7 1 1. 93, Steve Lee gets second place. 1 1 1, Duffy Evans third. Fourth place, Johnny Hudson, doing so well on that 350. Then it's Tony George, 6 6 6. Then Barry Woodruff, great way from Barry coming through there. Followed by Pat Davis, number 568, and Karen Davidson, number 53. With uh, number five, Chesney King right there with him as well. But uh, Rock Nelson pulling away now. Really spectacular star, one of very few riders to hold the Southwestern, Southern, and Wessex Centre titles all at the same time a few years ago. Chesney King makes his move, comes up on the inside of David Tricky. Then we've got Sam Fairley in the next place. But it's uh, Bristol rider from St. George in Bristol. Rod Melksham doing the business down here in Somerset. Rocket Rod Melksham, a spectacular rider, leads Chesney King in second, David Tricky third, Sam Foley is in fourth. Mark Collins on the top 50 is next, ahead of number 16 and uh, 102. That's uh, Rob Thomas and uh, Luke Roberts, the chasing rider, as the yellow black flag goes out to Rod Melksham. Chesney King, Tracer, number four, then David Trecky, then Sam Foley. Still going now, that 350, Mark Collins, Rob Thomas is next, and then uh, Luke Roberts. So here's the checkered flag, Rob Melksham takes victory in race 47. Chesney King, good ride for him, number five, he gets second place. Sam Foley comes forward, he's got it, third place as uh, David Tricky has lost his chain problems there for David Tricky but he gets 4th place, 5th place to 405 Mark Collins then it was number 16 uh, Rob Thomas and uh, 102 48 next up we got Anthony Quirrell out here Scott Creswell, Ben Masters, Carl Miles, Dean Cutler, Jim Collins quite a few should be out there we'll see who we've got and who we haven't let's uh, see riders line up we've got Mick Perry here today uh, from the uh, Western uh, Daily Press, Bristol Evening Post, the Western Morning News, and uh, false start, problems there, red flag goes out. We've got John Meredith here, how's Jack? How's Jack Meredith? Come and let us know. John, the ex-rider, heading towards us, we'll find out how Jack is, because he took a tumble not long ago. I think he, I think he got carried away in a helicopter, was it? What air yeah, ambulance? What do they do to have a helicopter ride these days? <laughs> most, expensive, most expensive helicopter ride he's ever had, is it? Come on then, Joe. What What's up with him? Well, he's back at work, everybody. That's the good news for Jack Meredith. And... Uh, He's uh, going to get the strength back in his uh, arms and uh, he'll be racing again next season. 
Wishing well for the here, Joe. Here we go, off the line then, the solo open. Race 48. Oh, look at this, Anthony Parable, Dean Cutler, and the Scott Cresswell all getting away together. Dean Cutler goes very, very wide, and uh, well, Anthony Parable lets him get away, and that, that leaves Dean Cutler back in about sixth place. So it's Anthony Querpo from the Channel Islands at a 3-1-1, out in front and leading. 2-1-1, Carl Myers in second place. And then a great scrap going on. Jim Collins doing well this time as he closes in on that second place. And a very spectacular rider, Jim Collins takes an outside route. Anthony Querpo leads. Oh, 2-1-1 sound coming. He blocked his move, Carl Myers then moved to the outside to stop the run from Jim Collins. Anthony Quirpo uh, coming by the back marker, he's well clear. We should see another challenge coming from Jim Collins, I'm sure, because we've got one and a half laps to go. Anthony Quirpo leads now. Can Jim Collins do anything on this final lap? He's closing in on Carl Myers. Oh, under pressure here as Jim Collins makes his move. Can he get through? Jim Collins then. To lose in wide up. Here comes Jim Collins around the outside. He's going very, very wide indeed. As they come towards the checker flag, he's not going to get it. Palmer's fights back. He gets second place. Tremendous racing yet again. But the winner, Anthony Querapo, number 311. We're now on with the youth, the Auto Cadets, sponsored by Smilers. Rider to watch for, Edmund Best, number 35. Let's hear fast. Jack Dillon can get away, number nine. And Jack Dillon gets another one of those quick starts. And Jack Dillon's in third place. And Jack Dillon is holding off Edmund at the moment. And a very quick start. And we'll see if Edmund can come up the inside. He's looking at the inside. He comes up the inside. Uh, in your pair of glasses. Edward Best uh, out the front with Jack Dempsey in second place. Third place, Henry Atkins. Fourth place, the seventh, Tom Brown. And then we have number 41, William O'Keefe. Well, William wasn't out last time, so I wonder where he was in the last race. And then we have Anders Rowe, number six. Well, with the end of this getting away, the battle's all there for second place. As uh, Henry Atkins closes in on Jack Dummett. This time at number seven, Tom Brennan. He's caught away ahead of uh, William O'Keefe. And then Andrew Rowe is just uh, coming round as his end of this comes by. On to the final lap goes end of this, number 35. Still Jack Dummett, but uh, Henry Atkins closing in. If there's going to be a change, it will be the second place. So, the second flag being made ready, Edmund Best is going to take the victory. So, he wins the fourth and final leg for the new quarter Jack Dummett gets second place. Fourth will be Tom Brennan, fifth will be William O'Keefe, and sixth will be Anders Rowe. Edmund Best makes his move, Callum Phillips holds him off, they're side by side. What a great scrap they've had today, Callum Phillips coming under pressure. Okay, 
So Edmund Best ahead of uh, Callum Phillips. Then Joseph Nichols. And then Henry Atkins having a busy afternoon as well. Edmund Best here doing the double at the moment. He's holding the lead against Callum Phillips, the former British champion. So Edmund Best and Callum Phillips. One and two. Joseph Nichols there in third place. with one lap to go. Stefan Maunder, we're waiting for him in the pit box. Stefan Maunder, to the pit box, please. Check the flag for these men. Made ready for race number 50. Number 35, then it is, takes the victory. Edmund Best. Callum Phillips gets second place. Third will be number 90, which is coming around now, that's Sir Joseph Nichols. And the fourth will be Henry Atkins. Now the pace starts up because we have the solo restricted final. Sponsored by New World Motorcycles. They are waiting on Pat Davis, Pat Davis, number 568. You should be in the pit box. In fact, you should be on the racetrack. They're waiting for you, Pat. Pat Davis, you're on two minutes. Come on, get that look as they do you. I know you started in 1966, but you should be out there on the track, Pat. Pat Davis, call out for you. You're not ready for the race. So Pat Davis is on two minutes. So while we wait, I'll just run through those qualifiers again for the solo open final. 3-1-1, and 200 are the qualifiers for the solo open final. And the first reserve, the first reserve is 7-1-1. Darren Pugh, if any of those riders are not riding in the solo open final, please let the pit box know. Because uh, Darren Pugh is the first reserve. So we're waiting for Pat Davis. Where are you, Pat? We are seeking Pat Davis. 30 seconds remaining, Patrick. Come on, Pat Davis, where are you? Well, time's out, so no Pat Davis, we go with the final. Oh, they're all getting clean there, the tapes are being bent down. Pete Lee, the starting marshal, gets him in order. He's the starting marshal at Somerset Speedway as well. Machine. 
teenager, Lucas Leda, leads. Dean Cutler in second place. Darren Joel makes his move. He comes around the outside of Scott Coswell. Callaghouse had a bad start. He's going to have to go back as well as Leda. Calabria, Dean Cutler, then Darren Paul and Scott Coswell. In that order, but it's Lewis Lair dominating this race. Uh, Colin Harris, one of the favourites, he's uh, right at the back here. Starting with number 10, but uh, we've got a lap to go. It looks like it's going to be Lewis Lair with a 24 victory. Darren Hill closing in on Dean Cutler. It's going to be playing still for second place. Look at Lewis there, guys. He works through the, the riders. He's already coming up behind the back markers. Check the flag, then goes to uh, Lewis there. He's going to get second place. It's going to be very close. Dean Cutler is there. Followed by Darren Drew. Followed by Calvin Palmer. Wow, tremendous racing there. We'll run through the results very shortly for you. 19 Colin Harris running his brother's machine. You probably noticed that he's on 171 machine. And 11th was number 10. The winning time one minute 26.89. One minute 26.89. And uh, well, we get away with the sidecars. This is the third leg sponsored by the Malco Limited, race number 52. And um, well, the other Cornish boys doing the chasing there, but uh, Andy Gribble, number three, is on round in front. They come round towards the commentary position again, and it's getting mighty close. Joe Stortage trying, trying to go up the inside, didn't succeed. He'll try again, he's right on the back wheel now of Andy Gribble. He looks on the inside line and he's through. So we have a change. Andrew Gribble fights back. We have a more action here as Baxter between these two Cornishmen. Well, four and in the passengers. Second flag is going to be Andy Gribble. 3 13 and 8 was how they finished. Race 53, Psycho Expert, third leg, sponsored by Pat Watts. So Jamie and Rick, both on maximum points. Rick McCauley's hand goes in the air, problem for him. So there might only be three outfits out there, but this is going to be a battle royal to see who qualifies for the best gate position in the final. And away we go. Rick McCall has got the better start. And uh, Jamie Bruce didn't get a tour good start. And beaten so far in this particular class. But uh, he's chasing now. Simon Hill loses it. Oh, problems! As uh, Jamie says, uh, Moore was Simon, we're coming through. And uh, just uh, look like they're okay. It's good to see them up on their feet. But the race has been stopped in the interest of safety. As Gary Lane says, because there's a bike parked upside down on the track. Well. I'll just get two outfits and it's the battle royal between Rick McCauley and Jamie Bree. So 
of these two have brought into this uh, heat both on big arm points here in the experts and of course the the winner of these two will pick the best gate position for the final and Jamie plays not letting Rick McCauley get away Rick's had a quick look over his shoulder there to check the opposition and Jamie Bree is closing Devin vs Corbel here ladies and gentlemen although we've got the passenger from Cornwall with Rick of course, Darren Wills making his return to grass track racing today so the old black flag comes out and uh, Rick McCauley and Darren Wills absolutely flying here Then, number 51, Rick McCauley, Jamie Bree takes second place. Tracks they get here at uh, Spaxton. So all credit to the farmer here, Mr. Rood, and of course all credit to the Bridgewater Club. So pre-75s, third and final leg, sponsored by Hamlin's. This is race 54 in your program. Tony George going well in third place. Tony George closes up. Alibus covers. Calvin Palmer comes through. Anthony Kernel side by side. Anthony left a big gap and Calvin Palmer likes the inside route. So this will be an interesting final. And they're side by side as they come up the home straight away. Tony George in third. Kerry Harris in fourth. So a great scrap going on here. And Anthony Kernel has just managed to pull away slightly. But Calvin Palmer's not letting him get away, and so too with the third and fourth line is closing as well. Tony George on the outside, going to be a leg training cone. Harris on the inside, number 19. Then we've got Darren Harris, Tony Dow, Steve Cox, and Scott Bunker, and then Richard Hansen. Oh, down goes the second place rider, Calvin Palmer. Down and out goes Calvin, that's that to Anthony Kernock. And pull away as he leads to start his final lap. Tony George chasing in second place. Then Colin Harris, Darren Harris, Steve Cox, Scott Bunker, Richard Hanson. Then Brian Matthews, Colin Palmer's got going. And look, Brian Lynch is out on Steve Matthews Douglas, the 1929 Dirt Track Douglas out there, racing here on the grass. So, well, I'm waiting for the result there because they came over the line for second place right together. And listen to the sound, Brian Leach on this incredible pioneering Douglas machine, running number 29's machine, built in the Kingswood factory in Bristol, right back in the 1920s. One minute, 33.78. This is race 55, this is the Youth Juniors fourth and final leg, sponsored by Savi Gregorio. That's the line they go, watch for Ashton where he gets quick starts. He's had another quick start. Number 26, uh, Luke Harris got a good start this time as well. is the leader Tyler Gove making a move on that one two five of his Aston Webb pulls him off this mighty cross is side by side Tyler Gove on that bad machine now tries the outside route Ashton Webb keeps him at bay. As they go into the top two corners there, Ashton Webb just pulling clear of Tyler Govier. Now Tyler's going to try the outside move again. One lap to go. Ashton Webb out in fifth. We've got that markers ahead. Those two well clear. The battle is on between these two. 
Then we've got number 26, Will Paris in third place, half a lap behind them. That shows how fast Ashton Webb and Tyler Govey are going here in the youth junior class. There it is, Ashton Webb wins. One, one, two. The subject on the racetrack, uh, just across here. This one has been filled down here in Margaret Greenwood. Margaret Greenwood then has taken the lead, Dale uh, Witching is chasing in second place. Then we got the two corners for next. Number seven, Josh Bingo. And uh, being chased by Lloyd Barrett. Oliver Green looking good in this one. Dow which is going to not close that gap. Well, he's looking at the inside line and he's looking at Number seven, Josh Bingo's pulled away in third place. Oliver Green was. Went very, very wide, and Darrell Richards is definitely closing that gap. He's got one of the bit laps and he's going to get through, he looks at the inside line, it's going to be a fantastic finish in this race, there's no doubt about it. Oliver Greenwood, then Dean Shadow, Darrell, Darrell Richards, then Josh Dindle, then Lloyd Barrett in that order. On to the back straight there goes for the final time, Oliver Greenwood still holding the lead. Darrell Richards is going to have to try something special in his last over, he's going to get through, it's going to be close as he comes towards the trigger flag. Richards comes to the inside and takes the lead. Wow, was that sensational or what? When they come round, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big cheer because that was some fantastic racing for the intermediate class. There's no doubt about that. The result of win for number 18, Darrell Richings. Second, 3-1-1, Oliver Greenwood. Third, number 7, Josh Dingle. Fourth, 23, Lloyd Barrett. Fifth, 3-7-7, Oliver Clark. 1 minute 28.44. 1 minute 28.44. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's have some cheers because that was incredible racing. So well done to Darrell Richings and Oliver. Superb. So fantastic racing there. And uh, so too the other lads as well. Oliver Clark on his Randaz machine there. So 18, 311, 7, 23, and 377. Solo Open Final, sponsored by New Road Motorcycles, cut up to the tapes. The final riders coming around, they're coming around in order of qualifying. We've got the exciting Rod Maltram out there, Jeffrey Levens, we've got uh, Anthony Carrera for Carl Miles has been gone, Steve Lee, but Chesney King is... Uh,
Well, just uh, a racing incident there. Anthony Quirapol uh, being forced out wide, tumbles off, and it uh, looked like Rod Melcham laid the bike down to avoid it, which if he did, that was incredible. Incredible for him to do that. So the riders go back up to the tapes for the rerun of the final. Right, here we go. With Peter's breath, who's going to take this one? and it's still quite early this evening if anybody can help with the racetrack we'd appreciate any support you can get we'll tell you about that in a minute because here we go racing race 58 against the line Rick McCoy didn't get a very good start in fact he's back in third place it's Jamie Bray who leads now this is going to make it very interesting Rick McCoy has gone back in third place in fact gone back in fourth Jamie Bray leads and he got in second the Browns in third Rick McCoy who won the Den Carter Trophy race is back in fourth place now Jamie Bree coming in under the pressure here. It's very, very tight. Rick McCoy comes from the third place. These places are chopping and changing here. Jamie Bree looks at the inside line again. Doesn't get through. And uh, well, there was three with a good line coming in there. And he's got it. Jamie Bree, Rick McCoy, the turns and the bit of battle going on even at the back between Phil Sims. But up front, it's Rick McCoy closing in on Jamie Bree. Jamie Bree under pressure. Rick McCoy comes alongside. He goes into second place. So Rick McCauley now for the second place. Jamie B leads. Sorry, Andy Gobble leads. Rick McCauley second. Jamie B third. Then the Pairns. Then Phil Sims. But uh, up front it is Andy Gobble now being chased by Rick McCauley. And Rick McCauley closes up. Are we going to see a classic finish? We may do. It's getting very, very close. And look at the battle going on. The unfold is there. Rick McCauley comes on the inside of Andy Gobble. I'm sure we'll show you appreciation when they come around. What a fantastic psycho final!
In second place, a pretty good team to make a start, the World Flag Starters making Jack Bennett.
Now we'll go on to the intermediates. In third place, Josh Ingle.